Hey guys, it's Lane Blake from Redefine Horizons. It is the first day of 2021. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to put together a, uh, a team schedule in Inkscape. This is Inkscape version 1. And uh, we need a team schedule. So uh, we use Basecamp to kind of track stuff at the individual task level, but uh, we're getting busier. We're going to have a busy January, I think, and we just. We, we need something that'll kind of help us uh, allocate resources at a little broader level. We don't want to overcommit to our clients. So we're going to set this up. First thing I'm going to do is get my sheet set up. So I'm going to come down here and go to Document Properties. And uh, I'm actually going to go with a custom sheet size in inches. And I'm going to make this 24 by 36 landscape. Then I like to do my grid, do a new rectangular grid, and I'm going to go 0 0.1, 0 0.1 for now on the uh, in inches, sorry, on the grid. I like to make my major grid lines just a little different color. Okay, so now we've got our grid. Okay, and then. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save that. And I'm just going to put it in my documents for now, I think. All right, so uh, the very first thing I want to do is I just want to get a, get a title set up. baseline snap right here and uh, let's get that set to our standard font color so uh, our font for titles around here is Oswald that's what we use at the company oh we're gonna go 40 okay I want to make sure I've got a little margin there so uh, I'm gonna give myself at least a one inch margin around my page We're going to set the color on this. Before I do that, though, I'm going to copy it down. We're going to have a little subtitle here. So our other font, our regular font, is Dosis. So we're going to go grab Dosis. And we're going to set that size to 16. And we're going to say... Week starting January 4th, 2021. That'll be next week. Okay, and then we're going to fix the colors on this. So I'm going to make this our kind of forced green. Just set my uh, red, green, blue values, which I have memorized because I have no life. I'm going to make this our purple. Okay. And then uh, I want to set this up kind of as a grid. So <clears throat> what I want is I want people down the side and days of the week across the top there. So let's, uh, let's drop some boxes in here. I'm just guessing right now. I'm going to make these a gray. I'm just guessing on uh, the width here. So I know I need, uh, I probably need six of these because we do occasionally work on Saturdays. So let's see how that fits. It looks to me like we can get Sunday in there too. over. Ooh. Just need to scooch over a little. Okay. 
So one, two, three, do one more of those. Okay. Cool, so that works. Uh, let's go ahead and label some boxes here. So I'm gonna copy this. And uh, well, I'm probably getting down now to where I wanna set my baseline grid. So my text is, uh, so I like a baseline grid about, of about two tenths of an inch seems to work well. So I'm going to set my grid for that on the Y spacing. No, so see this isn't quite on the grid. We'll put it down right there. And I think right there works. So we're going to make this uh, Monday. And I think I'm going to make this the Oswald font too. And yeah, I'll leave it that size for now. Right. So we'll just copy this over for the other days of the week. Just using the Control D key to do that. You can also do it with Edit Duplicate. So let me get these days set up and then I'll I'll resume the video for you guys. Okay guys, so I got the uh, these days of the week are set. I'm not gonna mess with these colors right now. I'll probably lay this whole table out and do the colors when I come back. I'm also uh, I don't need anything here, and uh, you're gonna see why in a minute. So the next thing I want I'll delete that in a minute is uh, I want to just put a bar in here. So just kind of a divider bar. And I'm probably going to make that black. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so this is this next section is going to be the office workers. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to copy this. Uh, I want to copy these boxes down. Okay, and I don't need this one anymore so I can get rid of it. And then what's going to go here is the employee names. Okay, so, and I actually want to leave myself a couple rows for each employee. So, I'm going to put my partner Danny up here at the top. And then I'm going to give Danny a, a couple rows, I think. So what I want here is actually a, 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 another dividing bar, but not quite as bold. So I'm going to put this one in for now. But I'm going to make it a dark gray instead of a black. Okay, so that'll be for Danny. And I might, I might make those fonts a little bigger. In fact, let me do that now. Let's make these a little bigger. They look kind of small. So let's go. Uh, let's go up to 22. No, it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. Text font. Oh, it did work. Okay, so we'll go up to 28. And we got to kind of move these back where they. Long. It's the Oakdale Firehorn that I hate. <laughs> All right, so we'll make that 28 too. Move it up. Okay, so now that we've got that set, we can do a row. So I basically have four office employees. So we're gonna just duplicate this. Okay. And it's going to work okay because I actually, uh, this down here, yeah, I might, that might be too many rows. Yeah, let me think about this for a minute. I need to get my field schedule in here still. Hmm. I 
I'm not sure if one row is going to do it or not. It might. We'll try it. So uh, we're going to make this bar black. And then uh, we're going to copy down a couple rows for our field schedule. Okay. And we'll leave a little margin there at the bottom. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and get these names cleaned up. So drop it in my team members here, my technical team members. And then uh, we're going to, we can run two field crews. We call them the light side crew and the dark side crew. Whoop. Whoop. Man, I'm just messing that all kinds of up, huh? Let's try that again. All right, so I like this so far. Uh, I'm going to change the colors a little bit, I think. So I'm going to make these that dark purple, kind of redefine horizons purple. Oop. Okay, which means I can't see my text, which I knew. So we're going to grab these and make them white. Okay, and then down the side, we're going to make this text white as well because we're going to make these boxes green. So we're going to make these that redefine horizons green. Okay. And then uh, what's going to go in here is, is the uh, major job that people are working on. We actually don't need these boxes, do we? Okay, so, and uh, we probably want those to be a different color. So, let's see here. Let me pull up my branding guide and we'll see what color we want to use. And we could do this brown, 64.57.00, or we could use this. Uh, light blue. Let's do that. 75. Eh, I'm torn. Mm, eh, we'll go more subdued. We'll go the brown. 64.57. So just as an example, there's a job. Okay. So then we want two things in here. So we're going to copy this down. And now we're going to change this text. So we're going to uh, put the, make this the job number. And uh, we're going to make it doses. And we're going to make it smaller. We'll go bold though. Okay, so that's the job number. Whoop. Then we'll put the job name down below. And then we'll put the basic task there. Okay. So, uh, but this will we'll make this light. We'll make this light too. Okay, so job name. This is uh, 25741. Use court. Hayward. And the task here we're going to make prep for boundary field survey. Okay, and I, I, well, I've got room. I could probably I could put at least one more task in here. So we're going to move this over and we're going to create us a little bullet. Okay, so I'll make it like that. I'm gonna make it white. Uh, but I'm gonna shrink it by half. So we're gonna come over here to our transform dialog to scale. 
make it 50%. Now we got a bullet we can drop in. If I turn on my snaps correctly. Okay. It's probably too close, we'll leave it right there. So now I could add a, a second task if I want. Okay, so now I know what I'm doing on Tuesday. Whoa! Don't want to do that. I'm just rotating my viewport, sorry. Okay. And then, so if we're going to go out in the field, kind of same thing, right? So we can just duplicate this. And then we could say, hey, we're in the field today. So both crews going to the same spot here. Oh, I didn't get my bullet. I'll have to fix that in a sec. So we'll say form boundary field survey. So say we're going to do that on Tuesday. Okay. We'll get our bullet. I don't know why I lost my bullet, but I did. I'm just going to duplicate that and drag the bullet down here. Okay. And then it'd be good to indicate uh, if we're running those crews, that means Danny and I aren't here. So what we want to do, we can delete these boxes here and we're going to put in a new box. Maybe we make it black. Just so we know that we're not going to be available on that day. And we're going to put in the field. Right. Then we can do the same thing down here for Danny because he'll go with me. Whoop! Man, I'm just messing this all up. There we go. Duplicate that, drag it down. Okay, so now we know Tuesday, Danny and Landon aren't around, and so we could fill up the rest of our week here. Uh, just helps us make sure we're not getting overcommitted. And then uh, let's just save this to a PDF, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Right, so saved it, and we're going to open it up, maybe, if I can find it. <laughs> Oh man, that's not what I want. Where is it at? This PC. I have multiple document folders, which drives me a little bonkers. Oh man, now I'm not gonna be able to find it. All right, so here it is. Let's take a look at it, see how it looks. Okay, so here's our schedule. You can kind of take a quick look at this. You know, it's uh, it's infinitely zoomable, scrollable. We can kind of see what we got going on. I know we're in the field Tuesday. Um, you know, one thing I don't have in here that I would like is it'd be nice to have a, a row for the weather. I don't think we can get it to fit, but it'd be kind of cool to know if it was a rain day. Um, I'll have to think about that. Maybe there's a way to do that down here in the field. Maybe we could uh, make the boxes blue if it's a rain day. In fact, let's just do that real quick. So, uh, for example, if we know that uh, Wednesday it's going to rain, we can use our other color. find it so we'll use this 75 43 217 for rain day no nope. 17 no nope. what is it 75 43 217 there we go and I uh, will just copy this text over can say rain day 
So we could work in a little bit of rain, but we can't work in a lot of rain. Okay, so uh, yeah, I like it. You know, not too shabby. I think it looks all right. We need to get a little more organized now because we're getting busier. So save this again to PDF. And let's just look at it one more time. Yeah, there you go. So now we know uh, when we got a rain day coming, we can't do field work on those days. They're going to be office days. We got us blocked out for when we're in the field. Uh, yeah, I think this works. I kind of like it. So, uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.